Right, so hello and welcome. Um, this is a little overview on how to change rooms for an MMDVM. Um, this will work on any version of this as long as it's running the PyStar software. So, assuming you know how to get onto the interface, there is another video for that. Um, we can change the room that it starts up in and the room it is currently in on the, uh, the software interface, the website interface. Um, and there is a whole list of reflectors here for you to choose from. Um, to the UK is popular, or um, CQ UK and UK Hub, I think it is. Um, so we're just going to pick a room here, click Apply, and then that will send that information to the Pi, uh, to the MMDVM, and um, change the room for us. So once you click to Apply, um, this does take a moment or two. Now I was going to cut this sequence short. Um, just to save time in the video. However, I think it's a good idea that if you're sat there thinking, mine's taking ages, well, no, that is how long it takes, so don't panic. Um, you will see usually on the screen, if you've got the one with the low lid on it, it say close across it. That means it's doing something. It's still thinking about it. And if you see down the bottom left of this screen that um, there is a, an address that essentially means it's waiting for a response from the Raspberry Pi. So, um, when it's done, it will reset and show you a screen which should come any minute now. There you are, and that's basically just telling you it's done it, and then it now it reload the page um, to show you that it's done, and you'll see the room changed on there. So one of the things you can also do is change rooms on the radio. Here's how. Right, so we're going to connect to the device now. I find sometimes on the first push that it doesn't always connect, so you have to do it twice. Uh, I think the device almost goes to sleep, therefore you need to wake it up a bit and <laughs> give it a kick. Um, but once it's done, it's going to connect to whatever room uh, the software is set to via the web, via the web page or um, whatever it's told to boot up to. Um, this is into Alabama Link at the moment. And if we want to change it, we go to search and direct um, it's worth noting I've already got some rooms programmed in here and these are for the the YSX system so if I tried clicking on one of these then they're not going to work because the uh, MMDVM requires a slightly different protocol however we can save those into a list uh, along with the others I'll show you that in just a moment So once we've got the radio to spond, respond, we're going to click all, and that will give you a list of every single um, Yosu system fusion that you can go into. Now if you look up the top right of the screen here, there's 851, and it's only going to load 20 at a time. Um, so if you're just scrolling through this list, it might take you a while. Um, if you don't know what room you want to go to, then you're probably better off going to the website for the little MMDVM, the interface, changing it there, and then uh, making a note of what the room's called. You can, once you've got to the end of the list, push the down arrow and it will load the next page. Um, and it will just keep going, doing that, you know, as far as you want to go down this list. However, there's always a slightly quicker way. I'll show you that now. So firstly, I'm going to name the category down the bottom. So you want to uh, press the display key for a second, then press the Y6, and then edit tag category. And then down the bottom, you see I've already renamed it to MMDVM. And that's going to save the rooms in there that I normally go to. See the manual for saving those, it's, it's not hard. But once that's done, we can then head back over to the software, and if we push the search and direct again, you'll see the category at the bottom. We select that, give it a moment, and then it will load whatever you saved into it. It's worth noting here, see, it's actually highlighted on popular at the top, so it's trying to get into um, the usual rooms for um, YSX, and it can't do it. So you have to scroll down and then select it, and you see I've only got one programming in there. So we'll have a quick look at programming. We're going to search, because it's a little quicker. We'll type GB in, press enter, and again, it's going to search the directory and bring up anything starting GB. Um, generally, all the Great Britain ones start GB. There are a few that don't, but um, it's a good place to start. And we're going to save CQUK into our list. Um, when it wants to respond, so, uh, everyone has these problems, so it's not just you. If it doesn't work first time, do it again. So once we got there, we scroll down our little list, and there's CQUK. We're going to tap on it. That's going to join the room. And then down the bottom, you'll see a nice big add button. So we click that, and it asks where you want to add it to. And we're going to select the MMDVM 
category. Oh, wrong button. <laughs> we actually have to click on the screen for this. Sometimes you can push the disk key to do things. And there you are. Now we have two saved in there um, that we can quickly access without having to look through. And I'll go through and I'll save a few more in there just to quick access. And that way you haven't got to mess around when you're out and about. And more importantly, you haven't got to then load up um, your phone or computer to change the room on that um, MMDVM web page you could do it straight from the radio and then if you've got a few saved it's going to be quicker than scrolling through a list if there's any questions please feel free to use the forum um, if you're not used a forum then it's really simple you do sign up for the website type in your question into the relevant category um, and then ask your question and if you're not happy with doing that, if you prefer to do it on the radio, then CQK um, MI5DAW runs a net on Sunday evenings at 6.45, I believe. Um, you can always ask your questions there as well. So just a quick overview. Thanks for watching. I hope this helps um, anyone out there thinking of getting one of these little MMDVMs. Um, it's certainly worth a go. I'm going to leave on the end of this video just scrolling through the rooms to show you if you did go through the list that that's not going to be a very practical way of doing it but i suppose if you sat there with nothing to do that you could do it but i'll put that on the end of this video